Hello and welcome. Um, you know who I am. It's uh, Neil and we've got Ryan on from... Uh, Ryan, <clears throat> always a pleasure to uh, have you on. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, Blackpool game, touching on Man City game, but also we've got something else to say as well about the fanatics, not so great for fans, about the the shirts, the kits, a fiasco, if, 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 too kind of word for it, Ryan, I mean... Yeah, I've seen some stuff that's been on about it off there. There's, there's lot, there's still lots of stuff happening, you know, on socials and that people, not, not basically got no kits involved with order more so standard, mate. I mean, what, what's your take on it? Well, I think it's, I think it's shocking, and I, what, what I think is, you know, I don't want to be sound too negative, but the club need to come out and apologise to these fans because they've made. I know it's fanatics that are making these mistakes, but the club decided to go down this route. Mm. Um, and, and I'm sure that they were the best intent when they did it. You know, they thought they're going to bring on this massive, you know, sort of sports uh, memorabilia and sports equipment supplier. But we're just a small, such a small part of that in that jigsaw because they're, they're all across the the NHL and um, NFL across America and everything. So they're so big that we're, we just we're just such, such a small part of that jigsaw that that's that and, and that's what it feels like. I mean, I literally see it. I've seen it since. Since the summer, since we started ordering the shirts, people complaining yeah. about dates getting pushed back. So they get a date saying they ordered it in June, it will come in, you know, before the season starts. Then it will get pushed back and then it's getting pushed back another day. Now I've seen stuff where people have posted emails. So they're not making it up. They've posted emails no. saying, no. you know, that they've, they're they going to have to be refunded or they're being asked to purchase another shirt so they can send it out and refund the other I've seen people that have ordered the full kit and they're getting the shirt and then they're getting the shorts later and then they're saying they can't find the socks or they've not got them in stock. Or mm. One that I saw yesterday that you know triggered me um, speaking to you about this was a, a, a gentleman had bought some shirts for his son for a present and he'd ordered them on 29th of June or 28th of June. A lack all down, it were on Forever Red on, on Facebook. Yeah. And he's bought them shirts and they've turned up. They've not put the uh, League One patches on them like he's ordered, you know, mm-hmm. on, the, on the arms. On the sleeve, sleeve, yeah. And then numbers were peeling off back. Mm. It's, it's poor, mate. It's really poor. And I've probably seen 100, 100 posts across line with people complaining about the, the shirts, uh, shirt availability, when it's going to turn up, missing, missing deadline dates. Um, you know, none of the shirts were available for the start of the new season. That's, a, that's an absolute first. Yeah, for me, how in any way, shape, or form has this been better mm. than what it used to be? Because in years gone by, you could just go, you could order it online, or you could go into the shop and just pick up the shirt, pick up the things that you wanted. Mm. Well before the season started, I remember one year I got it on Father's Day, middle of June. I got the new yeah. shirt. Yeah, launched it uh, early. Kids yeah. bought it me for a present, so you know I just don't think it's great, and I think the club are being far too quiet on it. The, the, you know, Fabletics are sending out the lame excuses and you know lame responses i think i've also seen stuff about customer services where the guys just don't seem to care on the phone there's no um sort of a pro- heartfelt apologies for for the for the poor service that, that, mm. that they've received um and again i think that's just down to the fact that we're just a small part in that in that massive pie of of, of the fan fanatics company which is a big worldwide company isn't it yeah i mean um, it's, so, it's like yeah. what you've just said via i mean I've had two emails, one for Jacob and one co- for a lady called Emma. I'm not going to come out with the f- full names obvious, for obvious reasons, like uh, don't want to bombard him. And they wanted me, ty- well, me, not me, but Tykes TV, wanted Tykes TV to plug the Fanatics website link to Bounds Football Club. And I, I did question a few things, uh, been going back on emails about the, the delay and, and stuff and they were saying, well, if you redirect it, you'll get a percentage of sales and this other. But I couldn't do it. Uh, and one of the reasons I couldn't do it, or one of said part of the reasons I couldn't do it, is that the experience I've had, not just me, but my son, such as you and my other friends and that, have had such a poor uh, experience with fanatics. I couldn't put my name to summit and, like, say, yeah, direct you to this uh, website yeah. for club because I, I'd feel then hypocritical because... I know that it's not it's not great, and I mentioned this before. I've been in shop, vast about things. I mean, it's like we said there. We, we, it's a big global brand in it. Fanatics, we don't get away from it. You know, NFL, baseball, you know, Formula One, and all that. 
And no disrespect, Barnsley Football Club is uh, probably in them as a small fish in a big ocean. Not a yeah. lake, but an ocean. And we as fans deserve to be treated better. You know, we, we, we we're we paying 50 quid a shirt by, you know, it's not cheap. But to couple up with that, with substandard, you know, sales, support, waiting times, or we'll have to refund you, things missing from kits, you're going to have to reorder. And, and again, you don't make you then feel valued, whereas before, I understand that clubs done it for financial reasons. We all get back. It's a business, not a problem. But I don't know if you were there, Ryan, and Charlie, I think it was, or it might be Marcus from BFC Pauls on one of them. John Flatman, who was the, who is, sorry, the marketing part, uh, situation. Yeah. I asked, are we tied in? Are we tied into anything with Fanatics because they've revamped the shop and everything like that? I said, not really, but you know, if it don't work, it's got to work for both parties to make sales. Because if it's making money for fanatics, it's making money for us, which is fine. But at what point do we, as fans, turn and said, you know what, it's not working? Because, like you said, we you could go into shop before, get a shirt, you could buy mugs, school wear. I've had people message me, uh, young Caleb, who comes on the channel, he wants to buy a rucksack and a backpack for ready for going back to school and out in shop. You know, yeah. simple I've, things I've like that. Shocked. It's, it's, it's shocking. Yeah, it's just shocking. It's you go in for you, you wanted to buy certain items, and not in stock. And yeah. it's like, it's like you just us as fans has been, I don't know, like Dan, just like oh, it's just thinking about money anyway. But it's right, you'll come back and order it. But enough's enough, isn't it, Ryan? Yeah, I used to like going into the shop, mate. I mean, I know mm. I've still got the shop, but I used to like going into the shops, talking to the staff in there. They were always really friendly. They always yeah. had deals on as well. So yeah. you know, I'd go in there for a certain item, certainly for birthday presents and stuff like that, uh, with my son and my nephew both being massive Barnsley fans as well. It was always dead easy to go in there and pick something up for the birthday, you know, dead easy. It's a nightmare now. <laughs> you, yeah. can't, you can't get out. You're ordering it, and you don't even know if you're going to get it on time. You don't even know if it's going to turn up. You can you know, we've got we've seen loads of fans contacting, um, saying that they've contacted fanatics and they're just getting no response. They don't even know where it is. No, they're saying it's at every, it's got it's gone to every depot and got lost. So you're gonna have to order another, you're gonna have to this, that, and other. It's it's poor. Listen, the club tried to do the right thing by moving it to a, a global brand and trying mm -hmm. to do the right thing. It clearly hasn't worked. I think it's time for them to, to, to knock it on head. Um, mm. because you've got to imagine if you think of the previous season's shirt sales, I've seen nowhere near as many shirts as this se this season, the new the new shirts as mm. I would the, as as you would on a normal season. Yeah, that's true. Normally, certainly it's front end of the season, you see everybody at new home shirt, don't you? Or the vast mm. majority mm. of people in new home shirt. You know, the new new generally the new underwear new home underwear shirt is always available well before the start of the season. It's just sprinkling, isn't it, at a minute? And it's just, this is just, it's just poor. Like I said, clubs try to do the right thing, but they've just gone awfully quiet on it. Mm. They're not sort of, it feels a little bit like they've not got the fans back. Mm. It's just like, oh, it's, the, it's fanatics. You're going to have to go yeah. with them. Mm. But with their decision to do this, so I think the club need to step up and maybe maybe get involved and, and put something out publicly and apologise to the, to, to the fans. Um, yeah, that's, that's think, my opinion anyway. Yeah, I think something needs to happen between club and fanatics. Like I said, there'll be people at fanatics who will be part of negotiations to take this deal with Barnsley FC. And I think they need to sit down with concerns. Like I said, emails, they're all on forums, they're all on your socials and stuff like that. The it's, amount yeah. of people that's been like unhappy about the service or the you know the length of time or the non you know non replies. Um, I think someone needs to get sat, sat, sit down, sort it out, and put it across to the fans. And you know, at the end of the day, don't put you, it doesn't install you with confidence thinking, right, I've had a debacle buying this. Am I going to be buying another shirt? Am I going to buy a leisure shirt or something for Christmas? Am I going to get it in time? It's going to be New Year, exactly. by the time I get it, it's there's going to be a lot of doubts and a lot of fans buying, isn't it, to spend any money? Yeah, absolutely. It is. They can't, they can't, the sales uh, across all the memorabilia and shirts and, and everything else, you've got to imagine it's gone down massively because there's never no available. Mm. So then, you know, those sales, are, those immediate sales that used to pick up all the time, certainly when, it, like like I mentioned earlier, I used to go into the shop, I'd be looking for something. I'd go, oh, they're on offer. That's yeah. on offer. Yeah, it was still, and I'd yeah. pick some, you know, I'd, I'd pick some else up. Um, all that's just, 
it's not there. So you, we're missing out. They're missing out on them sales, and then also because of what's being said online, it's the confidence of people to actually order it. Mm-hmm. Um, the amount of refunds they're having to do. You got. You can't imagine this has been in any way, shape, or form more successful than it was previously. It can't, it, it, no. it, it literally can't be. No. You know, I don't know the exact numbers and figures, but looking I think at the you can model see of terraces, that, can't, yeah. Yeah. it can't be. Yeah. Like I say, you can see in fans in terraces how many people have got the new warm kitchen awake. It's just a sprinkling. And I think, you know, like you said, Via, you used to be able to get it opening day, Father's Day, like I said, that remember pushed it. Yeah. yeah. People going into new season at this moment in time, we're going into October, albeit, you know, a week, a couple of days, sorry, going into October and I'd, I'd be interested to see the, you know, the like for like sales compared to last season and that as well. So that has be been interesting one to keep an eye on over the next few days. Um, so Ryan, I mean, you know, we get on about a cup game. We're going to get onto Blackpool game in a minute. I mean, great run out for youngsters. It was a nice sprinkling. Uh, decent goals, what I've seen as well. Yeah. Three uh, one into knockout stages. So again, it's it's promising looking at uh, the youngsters coming through, uh, the quality and some of the goals what's been uh, uh, created at the minute. Yeah, well, I mean, I watched the game. I was, I was, you know, I was pleasantly surprised. Hmm. Uh, I thought Man City under 21, you can definitely see the the culture of the of Man City that yeah. filters all the way through the sides because they were very comfortable on the ball. They played the ball nicely. Um, you know, obviously some really skillful players. They just obviously haven't got um, the physicality of some of the players that we had that, that, that started. Yeah. Um, but I thought they played some really nice football. But listen, there's some great performances, some good goals. It was nice to see Conor McCarthy getting on score sheet. Uh, mm. You know, Josh Benson getting a good get, uh, getting a good run out and getting an assist. Great ball in from that corner. Mm. Uh, John Russell just looked like a giant. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> amongst yeah. them, didn't he? He got that second goal. I don't think he even had to jump, did he? <laughs> Plumbed it in. Um, so yeah, I were really uh, really impressed, mate, with with some of the um, some of the performances. I thought maybe. Maybe Danny Danny Benson struggled a little bit down on that right wing back position uh, down that their, their left winger, but incredibly skillful player. Mm-hmm. But he did get down that left hand side quite a bit in the uh, especially in the first half. He was a lot better in the second half. But yeah, I was really impressed with the guys that came on, especially when the most you know the the two senior players went off, um, you know, and Waters and and, um, and Russell went off. Mm-hmm. I thought that the lads that come on that were you know eighteen nineteen year old. Didn't look over yeah. at all, and you got to imagine then it was, the vast majority of the team then were bands of twenty ones against Man City twenty ones, mm. and mm. you know, and actually at that point it was two one bands. They actually went and got a third, you know went on and get a third goal and a, a nice debut goal. So yeah, good nice good finish that. as well. Chipped it over, keep, chipped you know, chipped it over keeper. Keeper were probably out of position, but still, a bit you know, of quality. It's, it's, mm. it's, it's the quality of noticing it and nodding it over the top of him. So yeah, I were really pleased, mate. It were it, it were a good it were a good watch. Yeah, promising signs. I mean. um you know, under 18s won uh, won league. We, we knew yeah. that last season, and the, the promising signs there. Maybe odd one or two players uh, in that game. Premier sends knocking on uh, Gaffer's door and saying, "Look, you know, I know Phil Chapman's been involved in thing. I'm not going to be a million miles away in a sense." So again, it's no, yeah, the looks, opportunities there. Chapman, yeah, yeah, I thought um, Picard looked really good. He got yeah. the assist in from the corner. I thought, I thought, I thought for me, I think he would probably man at match. I think Ken Picard mm. thought he played really well. Mm. But yeah, it's, pro- it's promising for the future, isn't it? Like you said, with 18s, with under 18s winning the um, League and Cup double, I believe it was last season, wasn't it? Mm, so they, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, being really successful last year, and then 21 seemed to be putting some positive results together. And then when they're getting the chance to come and play in the first team in the in the cup matches, that you know they've done so far, they've done really well so far this season. I can't <laughs> yeah. fault them. So it's no. really promising, mate. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, looking good. I mean, you, you mentioned uh, Conor McCarthy a bit earlier, and we'll get on to the Blackpool game. Um, Kasper Wuppeter, unfortunately, his injury. Yeah, uh, I believe he had surgery and that. So it kind of leads on to the Blackpool game. Um, Blackpool had a decent win as well at weekend. So fair yeah, play yeah. to them. Uh, it's going to. I think it's going to be another tough, tough test. Uh, they always seem to turn up Blackpool at all. Well, uh, how do you see it going this one? I mean, you know, we, we want to start being more, you know, as a way form. You can't, you can't fault it. It's just getting his own form sorted out a bit better, isn't it, uh, Ryan? Yeah, it just seems to be a bit. I don't know. Last last season, Oakwell were a fortress, wasn't it? Again, mm. and then it just seems to it seems to be quite the opposite this year. So I, I mean, we've had a seven nil win and it was just sprinkled yeah. in there, but we've lost three games and conceded three goals on each of those occasions, mm. um, and we've only conceded two away. 
So it's you know we need to we get us all form in place and match it with that away form. We're gonna we're gonna we're definitely gonna be up there, aren't we? Um, Blackpool are a good side. Drug come down from Championship. Obviously, a lot of change there. Uh, a lot of change um, within their squad. Uh, I think I think they got a brilliant signing getting Jordan Rhodes. I thought that were really uh, yeah, a very astute cool. signing. Uh, bag, bagged the trick in last weekend. So mm. um, you know that he's he's a bit older. A lot of my friends are Huddersfield Town fans, um, and they said he lost his pace and stuff like that. But still can do a job in League One. You know, they still, these guys are so when they get to that age, they might have lost the pace, but they know they know where onion bag is. They know all the tricks of the trade, mm. you know, while they all fox. Um, so I think that was a great signing by um, by Blackpool, and it seems to be paying off for them so far. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a stern test, mate. It's going to be a stern test. Uh, I think if we're if we're on this game, we can beat them, absolutely. But vice versa, if we're not, you know, I think I think Blackpool could easily turn us over. Yeah, um, but I'm hoping I'm hoping that we're going to get it. We're going to get three points, mate. That's what, that's what I'm going to say. Yeah, we've got three points. I mean, going back to game at weekend, you, you know, he made some changes, Collins, after the Portsmouth game, didn't he? He shook it up yeah. a bit and we called it out and said, fair play to him, he, he actually did that. Would you would you think he'd be sticking with the same start 11, albeit apart from Casper Wapiter? Would you be putting Shepard or McCarthy in there? I'd be happy with either or, really. I think Jack Shepard's had a, a I think he's been really solid. Um, it come, I thought they'd take him off at half, at half time to save him for Saturday. True, um, but actually, when Neil Collins said, unless he's keeping his cards close to his chest, just because he were on a yellow card and he can't mm. afford to be without any other centre backs, mm. <laughs> which is yeah. probably, which is which is probably the right decision. Yeah. Um, neither neither of them are actual centre, you know, centre of a back three. Either they don't normally play there. Mm. Uh, Shepard usually plays on the left, and McCarthy usually plays on the right. But I'm sh- yeah. pretty sure they could. You know, manage it. You, you know, manage playing through centre. Or oh, to give me as well another. another... Give me, yeah. But yeah, I think, the... yeah, again, he looked all right the other night. You know, yeah. he looked, he, he, I think he played well. I think there was only well. one mistake he made, really, and it weren't. It didn't cost us at all. But mm. again, but League One though, mm. that may well cost you. Mm. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see him get a few more, maybe substitution performances and maybe some performances in twenty one or twenty ones or cup matches. Mm. I'd, I'd definitely be putting Shepard or. McCarthy in front right. of him. Yeah. If I had to pick at this moment, I'd probably pick Shepard just on his performances this season so mm-hmm. far in first team. Yeah. But I'd, I'd, I won't have a problem with Conor McCarthy starting either, just mm-hmm. because, just be, you know, I thought he, he did really well before his injury last season, and he's got a lot more experience. You know, he's got a lot more experience than Jack has. So yeah. either or, mate, really, either or. Yeah, I'd go, I'd go with Shepard. I think uh, it was started to come good, um, and then unfortunate, very. He got dropped from a cart. Um, Unfairly, I thought, mate. Unfairly. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, you know, as he gave him that bit more fire in his belly. So I'd, I'd go with Shepard. I think McCarthy could be on bench. Don't rush him back too soon. Like I said, his, his, his head near on the head out. And he saw probably ease him in and come on. Do you give me another play? Like I said, there. Don't you come in at deep end and expect too much? We saw what happened when he made his debut. Uh, Hold off at eight, you know, after eight hours in minutes, it. Wasn't it? Yeah, um, get away penalty, got a booking, and I think if he carried on, it might have well been a, a sending off. Well, he should have been but, sent off, shouldn't he? But yeah. I think ref bottled it. To be fair, yeah. to be fair, if I'm being honest. So I think that he did his a favour on that job, but a rarity for the ref. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I mean Dodgson, uh, in, you know, in place of Cadden, I thought he, yeah. he he played pretty decent. Would you change it again? I don't know. Would you want to? We always say you, you stick to your best start in eleven, or don't you know why, why change a, a winning team? Um, I don't know what he's going to do, Collins, on this one. I don't know where he's going to put. Can I'm back sure in with being a Tom or stick to this same eleven? <clears throat> being hard on, I think. We'll have to see because I don't think Dawson put. A, I don't think he put a foot wrong, really, did no, he? No, no. Uh, last no. Saturday, so I, I would impress him. I think we'll we'll probably, I think we'll probably see him again at left wing back. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't see midfield changing at all, mate. I think that'll be. I think you know. I think it'll be Styles and Phillips and um, and Styles is, a, Styles is a decent game as well. Yeah, yeah. Styles, Styles will win a match uh, for yeah. me. Yeah, Styles, is, Styles has got to start. He, yeah, he just he, he simply has to. Up um, front, up front. Yeah, I mean, I think the ju- jury's still out on Sam Cosgrove. I think it's more really is getting up to match fitness. I can see there's definitely a player in there. I think mm. he just needs a goal. 
for his mm. confidence. Uh, I think his his efforts have been a bit wild when he's when he's had a when he's had an opportunity. But I think that's the, I think he's just trying too hard. That's all, and that's not a bad thing. You know, he's 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 trying he's trying to get in there. And I think him and um, I think him and Cole link up really well. But I think um, McAtee has just got bags of pace. And he, when he came on on Saturday, he made. He is one fire. He is one fire. Uh, I, 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 oh, missing me. Was it Charlie or was it Reese? Someone messaged me and we're on about formations and we said, what about this? Because Phillips, uh, you know, it were a bad opinion. We said, Phillips hasn't really done out since he's come back. He's still gathering notices. What about starting McAtee and about attacking midfield role, having Devante Cole and Cosgrove up front? And I thought, Do you know what? I bet that That's could not work. a bad shout. I bet that could work. Does he just play that? I mean, that is actually one of his positions. He, can't, he can play yeah. centre attacking second midfielder, can't he? Just we on about with pace for you. I, I think he's played you know for Grimsby last season, didn't he? Centre yeah. second midfielder. So that's not that's not a bad shout. That you know? were you all mentioning back? Just reminding me. Were you all mentioning McAtee with pace? I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, it's just reminding me back. So yeah. Again, I really like Adam Phillips. I thought I thought he was fantastic last season. Yeah. I really did. He, he scored some absolute belting goals, and he and he puts hundred percent effort in. He's just been a little bit off. Um, mm. Maybe just last couple of games. He don't seem to be mm. getting us. Even though he's playing more attacking, he don't seem to be getting as forward as he did last season. He no, he still, don't. I don't remember him taking many shots. No, um, that's true. and his passes have just been a little bit, mm. um, a little bit off target. Quite, you know what I mean. He seems to be making that wrong decision. And again, I don't know if that's just trying too hard or lack of match fitness or fat sharpness, you know, or sharpness or whatever. Um, sure. Yeah. Um, but I'd like, obviously, I'd love to see him come good. I'd love to see. Oh him, yeah, see yeah. Him yeah. Come good. Well, we know he's got a strike on him, don't we? I mean, we know he's got. He's, we know he's yeah. a good player. We know he's got, yeah. and certainly at this level, we know he's got it in there. I think he's just a bit off form, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it took, maybe it just take a you know a wild strike from edge of box and it all of a sudden it starts again because it, it seems mm. to be, and last season now we're calling him out as a bit of a ghost and I didn't mean it disrespectful but a ghost is that one minute is you don't really know his vibe and his bang is is right at right time and it's a mm. goal and it's like he just mm. seemed to be drifting in certain areas and finding him and having a pop and this season I know he were out for his three games obviously with suspension but since he's come back he's. He's not really been there. So, like I say, it could be Matt Sharpness. You know, you, you know, you, you don't know, but he's no mug. We know there's a player there. Absolutely. Uh, maybe it's just a bit of confidence what he needs and a, a goal to go in and kickstart it again. So, yeah, fair shout that. Um, so, <sighs> score prediction and who do you think will be influential player on day then, Ryan? Uh, it's going to be tight. Yeah. It's going to be tight. I want to say... I'm going to say 1-0 Barnsley. I think it's going to be really tight. Really? Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to go 1-0 Barnsley. Mm. An influential player. I think it's... I'm going to say Callum Styles again. So I think I think that he was so good last Saturday. He was mm. head and shoulders above them all um, last Saturday. So I think, yeah, I think I'll go away. 1-0 and Callum Styles. Yeah, I'm going to Callum Styles. Uh, I, I think if, he, if he's in back midfield and he can like try and pull it in... Because, you know, he took his goal well. You don't realise how well that, that goal he took. <laughs> what a right, strike. It. Yeah. yeah. And I think that more of that bit of quality of the air early doors, I think, about four minutes. Was, I think yeah. score will be, I think it'll be tight about going 2 1. I just think that Jordan Rhodes could probably nip up and do everything. But I think we us, Devante Cole again. But I think we could also be a bit more dangerous on the set pieces as well. Um, so I'm going 2-1 Barnsley. I'm going 2-1 Barnsley. Callum Styles, influential player, because I think, like I said, he he, he kind of... I think since he's come back off it, because a lot of med med about it when he come back off the international duty, oh, he's going to be sold and this over. And it didn't... It, it just came out, but it was like match fitness, you know, been playing two games. And, wow, when he, when he controlled that volume, I'm like, watch it time and time again, I'm thinking... That's taking pace off it to loop it in and angle of it again. Yeah. The it, time no, as well that he has to take that. Just, yeah. It's just instinct, isn't it? It's just instinct yeah. and yeah. the instinct of, the, of a quality player. Um, yeah. have, having the ability to do it, but also just better do it yeah. like that. Just like that. Without, it's good, without, without thinking, I think that just shows how, how, how good he is. Yeah. So, yeah, Ryan, uh, we've come out with his, uh, you know, score predictions and stuff. We've had his say about the Fanatics. I mean, people watching, let us know your thoughts about the Fanatics experience. It'd be an interesting one with comments. Let us know good, bad, indifferent. Uh, what's your take on it? The pricing, the quality, the, you know, everything, the, the sales, the, 
you know, the communication, the non-existent stuff. Uh, let us know. Let us know your thoughts. Again, at the end of the day, it's about uh, fans, everybody, and what we've seen on socials. There's been quite a lot of disgruntled people. Uh, I think future's bright. Future's looking good for uh, youngins coming through into uh, first team, like what uh, Ryan said via against Man City. You could tell Man City play that kind of way, but we were more dominant. We took his chance as well. And it was looking good. Yeah. And we're all, I think we're both uh, going for a, a balance of winning. We're all open. Um, it's going to be a, a, be a comfortable win. I'll, I'll take it no, all day. Yeah, we're tight. Good we're tight, tight Yeah. Be tight. So, again, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Ryan, as always, it's been a pleasure having you on, mate. Yes, well. uh, quite some good uh, debate and content. Uh, let's hope. Come weekend, we're going into October. It's going to be another decent month. We're still in playoffs and we're not going to do it at uh, promotion come Christmas. So I'll take every game off as it comes, but every month off as it comes like that. So one thing left to say, you Reds.